Hi everybody. Welcome to my kitchen again. I'm going to get some supper started here and I'm going to take you along with me while I get the supper started. Um, I think many of you who watch my channel will know that, what was it? Was it last Friday? No, two, two weeks ago that um, my husband and I went on a day trip and went and found a, a local farmer's market that was kind of on the verge of closing down for the summer. And we got in there just in time and bought up on a bunch of green peppers. Well, guess what we're having for dinner tonight? Stuffed green peppers. So I've got all the ingredients here ready to go. I'm gonna switch the camera around and get things cooking and show you what I'm doing. This is the first time I've tried this recipe. Um, I'm not making the full recipe because it called for four green peppers, so I'm just doing one a piece, that's plenty, to try it out. And we'll see. It may become a keeper for the recipe. I may want to tweak it. Now this recipe I'm using is a classic off of the allrecipe.com uh, site. It, a variation of that did call for putting some shredded cheese on top after it's done cooking for a while. but. My husband doesn't like the cheese on top like that, so we're gonna do without. We'll see how that goes, okay? So come on along and cook supper with me. Stuffed green peppers, okay? I'm gonna turn the camera around now. And yes, my sous chef is all ready to go. She's raring to help me, aren't you, Ginger? Aren't you, my baby? Yeah, she's all raring to go. She wants to help. These are the ones that we bought at the farmer's market the other day, and I've taken the inside seeds and well the guts out of two of the peppers i'm just doing two the original recipe i'm following calls for four green peppers but i'm just doing two tonight and i halved the recipe so kind of halved it the seasonings are a little bit more but anyway these are the green peppers i'm working on and i have about oh, eight ounces of tomato sauce or half the can of tomato sauce and it's a 15 ounce can I have uh, what was this it was a dash my measuring spoons come in dash and that's what I used it's kind of like half of an eighth of a teaspoon and that's what the original recipe called for so I have a dash of this is a seasoning that is called garlic and herb it's salt free McCormick's makes it and I'm experimenting with that. Salt, or rather salt and pepper. So it's McCormick's garlic and herb, salt free, pepper and salt. I have about half a cup of rice, and I cheated. I used that I did in the microwave. And these are onions that I grew. And a recipe called for a third of a cup, so it's half of that. And this is a little bit less than half, but that's okay. That'll work. So these are the ingredients that I used here. This is the McCormick I talked about, garlic and herb salt free. It is great. It's good on potatoes also. Salt, pepper, the Hunt's tomato sauce, and that's a 15 ounce can. And then the um, rice that I cooked up. Okay, and then it does call for the hamburger to be browned. I did that the other night and stuck it in the freezer. And I'm going to heat it up again now with the other ingredients but I'm using about uh, half a pound. I think it's a little bit more than half a pound, but you have the recipe. And then, like I said, I cut the tops off the peppers. That's next in the directions. I remove the seeds. And now the peppers are going to go in a pot of water. And I'm gonna turn them over. You're supposed to just cook them in here to soften them up a bit. until the water simmers is what the direction says. And I guess that makes it simmer. Okay, stay down. I guess they wanna turn over. Okay, whatever. They filled with water, they'll stay down. There, that's better. That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna let them cook for a while until it starts to simmer. They don't have to boil, they just get a little bit tender. And I'm gonna start browning, well, actually reheating up the, um, the beef here and in the same skillet I'm doing the onion 
and I'm trying to do this one-handed and see how it works. And even though there aren't, it doesn't look like a lot of onion, they are strong onions. And all the seasoning goes into, so there we go with that. And it gets mixed in all together. And I'll be kind of fine-tuning the chunks of burger here, cutting them into smaller pieces as they get a little bit more heated up here. Okay, so while that's going, and while the peppers are simmering and softening up, I'm going to let you go, but I'll bring you back when that's all ready. Because what we're going to do is air fry these green peppers when they're ready to go. This is the collab with Angie at Life and More Reloaded, and it's called Let's Air Fry. So stay tuned. The green peppers are nice and softened. They were just supposed to be softened up a little bit, so let me empty out the water for one thing. I feel like I'm canning. I'm emptying out the water of the green peppers. And they're going over on the cutting board. I bet I could use the same tool with these to empty out the water too. Okay, they're drained. And then the mixture is all done here. It says, the directions say to start spooning the mixture into the green peppers. So let me start that here. I'll move this over here a little bit closer. I could probably have even used more um, hamburger because these are very deep green peppers. I think I'll have just enough though. Okay, I could have filled them completely full, but didn't have enough of the uh, hamburger mix, but that's okay. I did what I could, and now it says to spoon the rest of the... You put half of the tomato sauce into the hamburger mixture while it's browning up and cooking, and save half to put in the green pepper as it's baking. So I am adding the tomato sauce on top here. Okay, that's done, and then I'm going to put them, I wonder how hot they are. They're not too bad, okay. I'm going to transport it over to the air fryer here, where I've already got a plate inside for them to rest on. Okay, yeah, I wish I had more meat sauce in there, but that's all right. That will do for this time. Into the air fryer. I'm going to air fry on 360 for 15 minutes and then I'm going to be back and check the peppers out and see what they look like and continue on if necessary. Okay, so let me put the timer to about 15 minutes and I'll bring you back when I check. I'm back here after 10 minutes I checked on the green peppers and they are done. We've tested both centers you know the meat down inside and it's nice and warm so we're going to plate this up cut it up and have supper and for anybody else out there that has their has used their air fryer for cooking just put your recipe on the file with Angie at Life and More Reloaded by filming a video and flagging it as hashtag let's air fry 
Okay, then everybody else can share your recipe too. Anyway, we're going to get busy eating here, so so hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care. Be talking to you again real soon. That's going to be bye for this time.